At this point, you should have a scene with a cube inside and there's a script attached to the cube called testing script. Open that script by double clicking on it and as you can see, there's already some code with it. So don't worry about the code, that's standard and in further lectures, I will explain you what the code is all about. So don't worry about it for now. Because before even getting there, I want to teach you some of the basics of C Sharp programming that, that works for C Sharp and beyond C Sharp. So, as you can see right now in the start here, so I'm not saying exactly what it is, but this is a method or an action. After the opening curly brace, press enter a couple times and you can type within the opening and closing curly brace. So within these lines, you can start typing. So anything you would type here will appear whenever you press play in Unity. I repeat, anything you will enter here, any calculations you make will happen whenever you press play on Unity or whenever your game starts. Having said that, the first thing you want to know that's great for developers is to be able to debug or, or display data to the console. Now you may be wondering what the console is. So if I go back to Unity, you have the console tab right here. If you don't see it, you can always go to window and bring the console, okay? But know that that's how you get it here. Okay? Now, going back to Mono develop within the start, I want you to type debug.log. That means that we're going to write to the console. Okay, so uppercase D dot log. And then open a quote, a double quote, and type hello unity. And then close that quote, close that parenthesis, and put a semicolon at the end. All right, so there's a lot of things happening here. But before I explain you what it does, save this file, save. Very important step. Go back to Unity, and now it will compile. If you see a red error in the console, it means something is wrong, okay? Don't worry about this, it's just a warning, and the reason why is that one of the script is using load scene, but don't worry about it for now. You can clear the errors. Now, press play, and look at what happens. It says, hello Unity, from the script debug log from an object, okay? And it tells you all the details here. So as you can see right now, as soon as I press play, it said hello unity. Now, where is that hello unity coming from? From the script that's attached to the cube, which says hello unity. Now, let me explain you what this is all about. So debug is an object that is part of the unity framework. So it comes with unity. And by default, if you put dot log, it will print the action of printing to the console of unity. And what do we print? We print what's inside of the parentheses. We print hello unity. So go ahead and below that, add another sentence, debug.log. By the way, press enter when you have the autocomplete and that's the line you want. And say, this is a second debug line. All right. And now don't forget to put um, the end of the parenthesis. So you always have to close the parenthesis and always put a semicolon in C sharp. If you don't put a semicolon, you will get an error. So remember, you have to have semicolon at the end of any instruction lines. Save this, file save, and now go back to Unity. Once you're there, press play again. And here you go, hello Unity, and this is the second debug line. Now I should have wrote uh, written second, but that's no big deal. We can easily fix that. All right, so uh, very interesting. You can do a lot of things here. You can also print numbers here. You don't have to just print uh, text, but uh, this is beyond what we need to do right now, but just know that we're gonna be using that. So remember, when you're not sure about what you're doing, you can always use a debug to see where you stand.